Hello everyone. This is my ninth video on spot diagnosis. Today I will show you a very rare condition in a newborn. So this is the image of the newborn who is having the extensive skin lesions at the time of birth. You can see over the both the hands and also over the both the legs and foot even over the trunk newborn is having the extensive erosive skin lesions at the time of birth this is the image showing the new bully formation at the site of friction over the trunk and when these bully rupture these extensive erosive lesions with the crusting and erythema appears so you can see over the dorsum of foot this extensive erosive erythematous crusted lesion is present even during the follow up newborn is having the new bully formation at elbow and these are the healed lesion over the trunk so what will be the clinical diagnosis on the basis of these bully and erosive lesions right from birth so the clinical diagnosis of this newborn is epidermolysis bullosa because newborn is having extensive erosion and blister formation of the skin since birth involving almost all body parts and also oral mucosa was involved this is the image of the newborn at the time of discharge at that time newborn is having over the cheek and over the trunk erythematous patch like lesions present over chest abdomen and over cheek and over both the hands newborn is having the erosive lesions crusted lesions even the new bully formation at the wrist is present i have published this case in our journal so skin biopsy was also taken so this is the histopath image showing the subepidermal cleft at the junction of dermis and epidermis even direct immunofluorescence of the skin biopsy showing the multifocal igg and the c3 deposit at the basement membrane with the subepidermal blister formation so on the basis of skin biopsy histopathological diagnosis of this patient is junctional epidermolysis bullosa because in a skin biopsy sub epidermal cleft at the dermal epidermal junction present so in brief about the epidermolysis bullosa it is a inherited mechanobullous disorder incidence 19 per million live birth and characteristically newborn will have the extremely fragile skin and mucosa that blisters following the minor trauma there are three major types of epidermolysis bullosa epidermolysis bullosa simplex junctional epidermolysis bullosa and dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa our patient was having the junctional epidermolysis bullosa which is a autosomal recessive disorder due to mutation in laminin and integrin gene So this is about the epidermolysis bullosa. Thank you so much.